So here's a good question. Does the devil bless? Does he give gifts? Well, I think he does give gifts. I'm not sure he blesses. I think they're curses, but disguised as blessings. We have the classic example, of course, of Abraham. When he went down to Egypt, he should not have gone to Egypt. But he went down there, and many things happened there that led to sad consequences in his life. We discover that that's where a little Egyptian maid, Hagar, joined the company. Uh, that's where Lot lost his heart. When he looked at Sodom, he said, I'll take it because it, it looks like Egypt. And, uh, of course, when they came out of Egypt, they were loaded down with these riches that were given to them there. And as a result, uh, they started to fuss. There was animosity among their servants and uh, too much stuff. Eventually, it led to the breakup of the family. So sometimes what we consider a blessing may not be a blessing at all. It may be a trap of the devil. You remember how uh, the scripture says that we should not be unaware of his wiles, the wiles or the, the schemes of the devil. And one of the schemes that he used with the Lord Jesus was to take him to a high mountain and show him the kingdoms of this world and their glory and said, I can give those to you. Now, of course, it's God's will that the Lord Jesus should receive the kingdoms of this world. Someday the kingdoms of the Gentiles will become the kingdom of our God and of his Christ. And every knee will bow. And he is the heir of all things. So he rightly deserved those things. But the way the devil offered him was by taking a shortcut around Calvary. And that, of course, was contrary to the will of God. So we need to be careful. Sometimes a person looking at material things automatically thinks they're blessings, and they may not be at all. I'll give you a little illustration. Back in 1945, at the end of the Second World War, Avril Harriman became the ambassador for the United States in Moscow to the new Soviet Union. And uh, what seemed to be a, a sweet little... Uh, expression of friendship between the United States and the Soviet Union, a bunch of Soviet school children came to Avril Harriman's office and presented to him a hand carving of the Great Seal of America. And uh, he put it on his wall, and there it hung for about seven years until he was replaced by another ambassador. And, and when that happened, the the office was searched for bugs, and sure enough, there was a listening device in this hand-carved seal given by the school children. And for seven years, the Soviets had been listening to every conversation that went on in the ambassador's office. Sometimes things that look very much like they're an expression of blessing and kindness can be a curse. And so we need to be very careful to test all things and to find out what actually is pleasing to God, because there are so-called blessings that can actually cause us trouble. Many people think the best thing that could happen to them would be to win the lottery. It ends up sometimes it's the very worst thing that could happen. People all of a sudden, everybody wants a chunk of it. Families break up. People commit suicide. It's not always a blessing. And uh, likewise, sometimes a very difficult thing, a challenge in our lives, may in fact be a blessing in disguise. So let's receive the things from the Lord and be very careful of that old wily devil who is ready to trick us into thinking he's giving us blessings when in fact they are actually curses. So be careful and remember that God gives every good and perfect gift they come down from the Father of lights. What a good Father he is to us. We ought to be content with what he gives us and not be reaching after things that may end up blowing up in our face.